It is my pleasure to welcome you all to this very important symposium. We deemed it an honor that out of some 120 countries participating in this symposium, our country, Jamaica, particularly our friendly city of Montego Bay, was chosen to host the seventh Global Fugitive Symposium. As such, I express sincere gratitude to Interpol's Fugitive Investigation Investigative Support Subdirectorate and the Jamaica Constabulary Force for choosing Montego Bay. The fact that this very important symposium is being staged here on our beautiful island is a strong signal of the role of our country has been playing and will continue to play in supporting the work of Interpol and its partners. Ladies and gentlemen, as the main focus of this symposium include but is not limited to the exchange and review of best practices in fugitive investigation, I am sure that the deliberation will take place among over 120 participants will have far-reaching implications for our country, the Caribbean, and indeed the world. As a country, we are fully aware of the impact Interpol has in, on ensuring that Jamaica remains a safe destination. We live in a global society and our country is exposed to being used as a hiding place for persons who has broken the rule of law. I am sure that the representatives of Interpol who are here today, as well as members of our local security forces, are determined to keep our space free of these people. Let me reiterate that Jamaica will be no haven for persons that falls within this category. As our lawmen, in collaboration with Interpol, will work assiduously in ridding our country of these fugitives. We can only build a productive society if there is law and order. Whilst the city of Montego Bay is rated as the fastest developing city in the Caribbean, our aim is to maintain a safe and attractive place for our citizens, our visitors, and our investors. But it would be remiss of me not to comment on criminal activities that are taking place in this parish, the parish of St. James. So far, since the start of this year, we have seen over 310 murders with a population of a little under 200,000. The question of illegal weapons and their easy access into this country give cause for great concern. Since the start of this year, our security forces in Montego Bay has recovered some 160 illegal firearms. Among the firearms that has been recovered, rifles, to include AK-47, M16, AR-15, other submachine guns, 9mm pistols, revolvers. It is very hard and difficult to convince 
our citizens that enough is being done. I was having a discussion before I got here. And the question of our ports, our legal ports, we need greater cooperation from our international partners to intercept and detect the trading of arms and ammunition in this country. It is a big business. I would even go as far to say that we need to remove the human element out of aspect of searching. Because what has been coming to the fore via information is that men and women who works at our port are complicit in these activities. So I'm saying, coming out of this symposium, I would love to see a closer cooperation as it relates not to only fugitives, but as it relates to the flow of illegal guns in Jamaica. And I would say we don't make guns in Jamaica. The proliferation of guns in this country and the easy access to these guns tells me that it is organized and it is organized in no ordinary way. So Jamaica and Montego Bay joined Interpol in its mission of preventing and fighting crime through enhanced cooperation and innovation on police and security matters. Let me encourage representatives here today to remain steadfast in the work they have been doing and to assure you all in the city of Montego Bay and Jamaica, you have a solid partner. Again, on behalf of the citizens of our friendly city, Montego Bay, I welcome you to this Interpol 7th Global Operational Fugitive Symposium, and I wish for you a most productive and successful event. Thank you very much.